Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today, we are going to be looking over an operation my wonderful task force did a few days ago. Now, if you guys want to get into our task force, here's the tag and everything about it. This is our main task force. You have to be above level 35 to enter, and you have to be active in operations, and you have to get at least 15 intel a week. And we will be kicking people at the end of the week who have lower than 15 intel. So if you are in my task force and you have lower than 15 intel, definitely get on and play a little so you guys will stay in the task force or we will kick you anyway also if you do not want to be in our no what <laughs> okay let's just get into the video guys let's uh reclaim the statue i'm going through my green statues now i went through all of my red all of my purple i'm saving my blue guardians in case i ever want to build um, or if I ever want to push in Boom Beach, I just, nah. I mean, I, w I want my statue storage to be filled up with, uh, blue statues, but I will be placing some of these down very soon, so just be prepared for that. Anyway, today, we are going to be looking at, at an operation we did a few days ago. This is our, this is our highest operation we've ever done in this task force, so it's super cool that we did this, and you can see now that we did not win, so we're going to be looking over it and seeing what we did and I had my biggest fail and I'm super mad at myself um, and Jimmy also had a fail so just a bunch of fails we should have easily been able to do it but anyway let's get started so Lord Carnage came in I'm not gonna be showing you every replay that would take forever but this guy is an absolute beast and you will you will I'm not sure if you guys can see that but I turned on my red light in the background I feel like it looks cooler it does kind of look cool. Anyway, let's do this. Let's uh, play this match. Let's readjust that mic. Anyway, like I was saying, this guy is an absolute beast. His attacks are amazing all the time. He's usually able to solo a base. But then again, he picks the easiest base to solo. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he is still a very good Boom Beach player. I, I keep asking him for help when I want to attack. He's been playing Boom Beach a very long time, and he actually is. Uh, he actually has a YouTube channel. So just look up Lord Carnage on YouTube, and you will be able to find him. So he was able to solo this. I don't know how. Um, I would not have been able to solo it, but good job for him. Uh, looks like he just, yeah, he just clears like a little path. He could just sit here. And from there, it's just an easy uh, parking and destroying. So, amazing attack by him. We started out this operation very fast. And at the end, we had like 20 attacks with the hardest base left. And we just couldn't do it, guys. Okay, so this is always a very hard base for us. I do not know how my task force uh, successfully defeated this base. But this guy actually comes on with AZ. Glad to see more players in my task force using AZ. It's definitely what we need here. But I don't, I'm not sure if it was this. Yeah, it wasn't very, a very smart move. Um, he should have used, like, some... Brought in some heavies or something. That would have been better. Um, it would not have done much. But anyway, this guy is coming in with AZ also. So I, I feel like Lord Carnage put something on the notes that said how to defeat this. Because he's been also very active with our notes. So that's cool also. We have someone actually adding notes. But he's wasting... You see how much smoke he wasted? He wasted a lot of smoke. Um, so just, that's something he, has, he should work on. But he still was able to clear a, a lot, a lot of splash damage. Look how much he cleared. That's a lot of building. So good job. Good job to him. Um, I'm just going to be rolling through these attacks pretty fast because I do want to get some most attacks. This is also a very hard uh, op base for us. We've had problems in the past with it. Um, and, uh, well, I've seen people solo this, and I don't know how. They, like, flare back here or something. They have a lot of gumbo energy in the just Park. So, um, if we could have one of those players in our task force, that'd be super dope. Anyway, um, here is the next guy. He also attacked it, attacked Machinima. Um, and he's using Ruka. I would not have used Ruka. <laughs> he got destroyed. Oh my gosh. So you'll see here that um, a lot of our players are lower level and they don't know how to attack in oper operations and they don't know how to, um, I guess, b work as a team. Most of them follow notes and are amazing attackers, but there are a lot of people still in our task force that do not follow notes and we will be kicking some of those people soon. Okay, Fluffy moving in with AZ. Um, 
he's a very high level player so he definitely knows how to use az look at this amazing skill um and we'll see we'll put this on time as one um he drops a bunch of shocks and was able to clear some but just not a lot he should not have oh gosh oh wow he did a lot dang look at that that was a good attack not gonna lie that's the text we need um if he would have done that first we could have easily been able to take that off base down in two attempts um okay another guy attacking sliding block and we'll see how this goes hopefully everything is still synced i've noticed some problems with my connector my adapter so i might have to get a new one soon which kind of stinks but i don't know what this guy's doing i think this guy is power cell farming <laughs> don't power cell farm now some people okay whoa Look how much smoke he wastes. Not a good idea. What you want to do if you're watching this is you want to just drop a quick little flare, drop a smoke, get them all in a clump, and then drop your flare and flare to a building. Because if you don't do that, it's not going to be a very nice attack. And that attack was kind of a waste. But at least he tried. And at least he tried and tried to kill his troops. I guess at least he killed his troops. Most people, most power cell farmers will just power cell farm and then retreat. So that kind of stinks. But yeah, there's like 5 million HP on this HQ, I, I believe. So it's very hard. And look at that. That's something you have to watch out for. But dead zone of the rocket launchers. Um, that's nasty always watch out for those dead zones so yeah if you're gonna attack this type of base it's super hard to take down all of those shield generators i did it once um but i had like a super boost going on and i was like just trying to defeat it so i don't know if that's like the best option to go with um i feel like if you brought in like tank medic came from the bottom and then dropped some critters and dropped some shocks on those cannons you would be able to clear a, a lot um, but this guy this guy is amazing Andy he's one of our higher level players was able to just drain this base down but yeah those mortars and the rocket launcher have to be taken down before you can sit and park so it took us way too many attacks to defeat that um, and some people will be like Christian your task force is pretty bad and I have to agree with them. we have like a solid 20 players that know how to use AZ and are actually good at attacking and then the rest are just wasting attacks so I mean like we all have fails but there's people who fail at every operation but um, I know in the past I said it wasn't that serious this guy had an amazing attack beautiful he cleared a spot to park and land so like one more attack should have do it and actually we spent two more attacks but if someone has a like a place to park, use AZ. If there's nothing hitting your troops, use AZ. Don't bring in these riflemen. Those riflemen are useless. Um, and you'll see here that they even die. Just get as much damage as you can get. And with that is AZ. You have to use AZ, man. Um, so yeah, he wasted like two to three boats. I can't tell by looking at it. Two to three boats of uh, spots where he could have. How much? I can't even see it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, he wasted like four. Or, no. Yeah, like three boats, I believe. Uh, that you could have easily been able to use Zuka's instead. And he probably could have done it or beaten it. But anyway, this guy is our next guy. We're already at a 10 minute video. He was able to. Oh, gosh dang it. Just not enough energy man um it happens just got a boost that'd be nice but not enough but anyway we should be able to take down both of these bases pretty quick uh again this guy he i, I believe that this guy wow what is this what is he doing I, I was he able to defeat it i think he was the one able to defeat it um did he defeat this one I don't know, but a never dumb attack. Like, if someone has a place to park, don't bring any other troops but Zookas. Just bring all Zookas, because Zookas deal the most damage. I think he was still able to defeat it. And, uh, watch this. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. But they all explode at the same time, and it's super, super cool. 
yeah, I think he was able to defeat it, so not a big deal, but it was definitely a very close battle. You could tell by how much time it took up. So, in the future, just bring AZ, if someone has a place to park. Um, so, that should be a base that you could take down with energy. That that should be easy energy. I, I wish I could tap on it and see the, like the health, but you can't. Um, but that should easily, yeah, he kind of failed. Um, that should easily just be energy, and I think we'll see that from this next guy. Um, I think he used energy. I bet he dropped troops down there, yep, and uses his energy. I don't know why he's, oh yeah, yeah, I know why. Okay, so yeah, using his energy to take it down. Um, he's gonna destroy that boom cannon, then flare back and use his energy to take it down. This guy is one of our lower level players, so it's nice to see a lower level player actually helped in an attack. Uh, like, I know it sounds bad, but at these higher level operations, it's very hard for a lower level player to be able to destroy a base, so, um, or even help in an operation. So good job, uh, Tamer, Tamer, whatever you wanna call it, but look at, the, what the heck? What the heck? That's like a, that's the ultimate minefield. That's so, that's so awesome. But not the troop combination. Oh, is he just clearing mines? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome, man. Good job. This guy's also a very low level player. Just, <laughs> yes. Oh, I loved that. That made my day. Just clearing all of those mines. That's so awesome. For our next level players, um, I'm not sure if it was a waste, but he was, again, one of our lower level players, so it's nice to see that he was able to help. Um, so he's trying to def Oh gosh. I would have dropped shocks, but he did drop one, but yeah, another higher level player, Flash. He's actually one of our higher level players, so it's glad to see he can help also. Um, he's just taking down a bunch of uh, these rocket launchers just clearing a path for his troops so good job um you'll see here that we have our plan set out and a lot of people follow them which is nice um it didn't always be like it wasn't always like that so this guy has a lot of gumbo energy to take down that shock launcher and then drop a, an army of tanks so good job um yeah but Still, so much damage gets dealt by rocket launchers. It's insane how much damage goes down on them. Um, okay, so we are actually running a little low on time. I don't want this to be a half a half hour long episode, so I think I'll just show the highlights, like or maybe every ever attack. And I'm so sorry if I couldn't get to you. I love making these operation videos, and it's dang it, oh dang, 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 dang. At least he got some in the dead zone, but most of them weren't in the dead zone, so that kind of sucks. But he was, he spent his energy taking down mines, which is helpful. And just destroying a bunch of defenses, that was kind of a wasted flare, but oh well. Um, and it looks like he's using all of his extra energy to take down the machine guns, and which is a good idea. I mean, he couldn't, like, I don't like power cell farmers, but um, he couldn't do much. Like... If you can't do much in operations, it's kind of pointless to power, I mean, to actually use an attack, like, but we still want everyone to attack. By all means, do not stop attacking if you're in my task force. And if you are in our mini rejects, I'm sorry that I'm not very active. I'm focusing on my main task force while I'm pushing, um, so I'm just trying to be, like, a good leader. But, wow. We have a lot of players using AZ, which I love to see. Thank you, guys. Um, okay, taking down machine guns, and we should be able to take down this base, which is nice. Uh, not in this attack, but in future attacks. Gotta stay hydrated, guys. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. I just gotta keep drinking water. Um, and I hope all of you guys have had an amazing Christmas. Uh, this is coming a few days after Christmas, which is cool. Um, or, or, yeah, it's coming a few days after Christmas, so... Hopefully all you guys had a very nice Christmas, and looks like he's out of range. Nice. So we found a place to park, we cleared the path, and it should take one attack after you clear that path with this operation, of course. 
um, it should not take more than one attack. So that's why you bring AZ. But I guess there are, oh my gosh, be quiet family. Um, I guess there are some defenses that were in the way of parking. So um, it looks like this guy's going to clear out some more defenses. So it's easier to get your whole army Miyazuka's uh, safe and cleared away. Um, but tanks, not what you want to bring. Not what you want to bring. They're slow. They do deal a considerable amount of damage, but it's not a lot. Wow. Um, and yeah, the medics are just waste away. So he did bring the HQ down a little bit, but again, someone else came in with tanks. No, we could have uh, easily defeated this base if people were using AZ. As soon as someone clears the park, a safe park where nothing can hit, you should bring AZ in to defeat the base. None of his tank stuff, because this guy wasted a minute just flaring his tanks up. That's a minute of damage he could have been dealing to the HQ if he used a quicker troop or faster troop. And he's just taking down power cells. We don't need anyone to take down power cells. Okay, took down a flamethrower. Now he's on to HQ. I'm not gonna watch all of that. Like I said before, we are, we're not even halfway. Well, well, yeah, we're about halfway. Uh, we will show this last attack and then we will kind of skip a little. Um, and I'll show you mine, I'll show you Jimmy's, but uh, they were just fails. They were just big fails. My biggest fail ever. And the thumbnail is not my fail. It's that attack earlier that I loved from that guy on this base that just cleared the mines. Like, good job, man, for getting in, getting in the thumbnail. So, this guy knows what to bring. Let's bring Zookas. Zookas are strong. They deal a lot of damage, and they're just overall a very good troop. So, we're going to skip a little bit. Um, don't be like General Zod and just drop artillery and barrages, or you will get warned and kicked. Um, okay, so Jimmy came in. Jimmy had a fail, and you'll see his fail now. So, he was trying to clear a path for me. This is the biggest, no, not the biggest fail. I think mine was a bigger fail, but I was kind of disappointed at Jimmy. Because I was disgusted. Okay, so I texted Jimmy, and I said, Jimmy, load up hookahs. And he's like, I can't, man. I, I gotta go to bed, because school starts early tomorrow. And I gotta get this attack in before, because I would have he would have woken up after the operation ended. So, I'm like, okay, whatever, man. Um, so he brings tanks and then he stays up for the next two hours waiting for my attack So he could have easily trained up hookah, but what is he doing? What is he doing? I don't know what his plan was. So this is what he did He landed his troops here and he flared right up here right here So his tanks walk by all of these cannons. So if you want to avoid the cannons Jimmy flare around the base and get up on top his goal was to take down those rocket launchers right there i'm sorry for zooming in and out so much his his goal was to take down those rocket launchers he needs to take down those rocket launchers if i even have a chance um so i do drop or jimmy do, does drop a flare up here i was kind of mad that he didn't train a puka and use hookah against his base um it kind of makes me mad but Oh well, look, Jimmy definitely, definitely had time to train up that combination. So, yeah, overall, one base left. The hardest base. But we couldn't do it. It was just not, we couldn't do it. So, it, it's very disappointing, obviously, for people who did do super boosts and try to take down. And you'll see my attack here in a second. I actually used a super boost. Look how much gumbo energy I have. 246 gumbo energy. 88% damage. And I am actually going to be reclaiming my health masterpiece soon. So you guys will see that. Okay. So here's the deal. Again. We had about 10 attacks left at this point. We had two players left that had the only chance. They had the only chance of ever dealing any damage to the HQ. And my goal, they were both tank players. So my goal... I had two I had two choices. I could one try to clear these doom cannons and the shock blaster for the next person. That's the strategy that I tried to do or that's what I tried to do. Or I could have flared here and 
tried to destroy the HQ by myself. Now, I ended up going up the first route, destroying the boom cannons. Um, and I, I would have done this one if the shock blaster was down. But the shock blaster wasn't down, so I couldn't do it. So you'll see here what I do. Oops. Um, I'm going to use hookah. And I actually dropped critters up there to destroy some mines. So I use hookah. I tried to get above that. And you will see here that it, it didn't go well for me. I'm trying to get my uh, troops in a clump here. I'm dropping some smoke, trying to cover them up. Kind of messed up on the smoke, not a big deal. So I have so much gumbo energy right now. I have like over, oh no, what's that, over 100? Like 80 or 90 gumbo energy here. So what I do is I flare up here and I could get annihilated. One, I didn't see this mortar until it was too late. Two, I drop my shocks late once more. I keep doing that in operation basis, but you'll see here that we get wrecked. Mortars are going off. Machine guns destroyed like all of my Zookas first up. It was not a very fun attack. Everything wears out and I'm just stuck here like sitting ducks just dead. <sighs> was not able to complete, complete my mission. So we had a few people left. Beast didn't even try. <laughs> Our last guy, Blackbeard, I'll show you his attack in my voice is dying, so I can't talk too much. He used tanks. Like I said, we had, like, he's a tank player, so he has to use tanks, but look how slow his tanks are moving. Just so slow. Um, and he's trying, at least, which I, which I appreciate. I mean, I feel like I kind of let my task force down, but, oh well. I can't really do anything about it, but then he doesn't drop smokes. Like, what? Um, and we completely lost. So anyway, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you did enjoy this episode of Task Force Battles. If you liked it, be sure to drop a like as always. This was a super long video, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.